Question number 9, part A. Prove that for all positive values of x and y, x plus y over 2 greater than or equal to square root of xy. This question carries 3 marks. There are two ways you can prove it. The first one is, you have to collect all the terms to one side. Put this also here whenever you see inequality. You can multiply everything by 2 first x plus y is greater than or equal to 2 square root of x times square root of y. There is a reason why I have split this into square root of x and square root of y. I will explain that. Put everything here. You get x plus y minus 2 root x root y is greater than or equal to 0. You can write x as square root of x whole square, right? Which is x. I'm going to write y as square root of y whole square. And I have this. If you look at it carefully, does it look like a square plus b square minus 2ab? And that's the reason I have split this into two roots. a square minus 2ab plus b square is same as a minus b whole square using algebraic identity. So you can write it as square root of x minus square root of y whole square. A square of something is definitely greater than or equal to 0. So you can finally write a square of something is always positive. Therefore, square root of x minus square root of y whole square is always positive. Hence proved. That's one way of proving it. Or another one, start from this expression square root of x minus square root of y whole square and we know definitely this is positive or greater than or equal to zero and then just work it backwards expand it a square minus 2 a b plus b square is greater than or equal to zero bring this term to the other side x plus y is greater than or equal to 2 square root of x y. You can just multiply them. Put it in a single square root. Divide both sides. You got the proof already. This is what they want you to prove. Up to you. You can, you can do uh, both, any one of these. Part B. Prove by counter example that this inequality does not hold when x and y are both negative. This question carries one mark. Here we need to use one counter example to prove that this inequality is not true. That means you need to, when, when both x and y are negative, that's what the question says. So you are allowed to use any two real number values for x and y. Up to you. Just put two values and see what happens. If you can't prove this is wrong, try for some other value. So I'm going to start with the simple value. I'm going to put x is negative 1, y is negative 1 here on both sides of this inequality. Minus 1 minus 1 divided by 2 is square root of minus 1 times minus 1. Replace x by minus 1, y by minus 1. This will be minus 2 by 2 is negative 1. And when you find the square root of minus 1 times minus 1, positive 1, square root of 1 is plus or minus 1. So if you look at it carefully, if you take plus 1, the inequality is not, is not true. But if you take minus 1, this can be greater than or equal to, there is a equal to sign also. So minus 1 is equal to minus. So we can't really, we can't really prove by using these two numbers. So I'm going to use two different numbers. But when you use the number, you can use any number, doesn't matter. But I'm going to use two numbers in such a way that when you multiply, I get a square number. So I can find a perfect square root here. Probably I'm going to use x is minus 9, y is negative 4. If you ask me why I'm using these two numbers, 9 fourths are 36. So I can find a perfect square root here. Substitute both sides. See what happens. Minus 9 minus 4 by 2 is greater than or equal to square root of minus 9 times minus 4. Which is 36 plus or minus 6. Here minus 13 over 2, which is uh, minus 13 over 2, yes, minus 6.5 plus or minus 6. Even you take 6 and negative 6 or negative 6 and check. If it is 6, 
they are not equal and this number is not bigger than 6 so this inequality is wrong even you 6 you take minus 6 they are not equal and this number again is not bigger than minus minus 6 is the bigger number in negative when you put negative sign the minus 6 is closer to 0 not 6.5 so minus 6 is bigger again it's wrong so you can say the inequality is wrong when both x and y are negative.